Hello there, this is Instructor Paul from InstructorPaul.com and in this lecture, we're going to be setting up our domain password policies. Now this is something you're going to have to do if you're working for a company that is security conscious. It will prevent your users from using simple or unsecure passwords within your domain. Some people are just not security conscious at all and they'll use you know simple passwords over and over and over again. They won't reset their passwords, they won't change them from time to time. Because as we all know, it's just a pain to do that. So we're going to set this so that it's not an option for users. They're going to have to reset their passwords. We're going to set up things like account lockouts, etc. Okay. So under server manager, we're going to go to tools and we're going to choose group policy management. So group policy management has loaded and I have my domain instructorpaul.com open here. And one thing I want you guys to keep in mind that is that in the default domain policy, if we go under settings, password settings are already configured. So we can see account password policies and the lockout policy. All of these are already set inside of this default domain policy. So if you create a new GPO, it's important for you to know that there is the default domain policy, which is also configuring these settings. All right, so I'm gonna make my changes inside of the default domain policy. So I'm gonna right click on the default domain policy and we're gonna choose edit. And I'm gonna make this full screen and we're gonna go under, expand this here a little bit. We're gonna go under policies, Windows settings. We're gonna to go to security settings, account policies and the password policy. Now. Here we can enforce the password history. We'll open the double click on this option. And I'll explain what it means. This setting will remember a user's 24 previous passwords and it won't allow them to reuse those passwords if they're creating a new password for the user account. If they use password one, then they use password two and they reset it 24 times. They eventually end up at password 24. If they try to use password one or password five or password seven, it's going to have remembered that password and it'll say, sorry, you can't use this password. All right, so we're gonna leave that at 24. That's a pretty good number right there. We're gonna to go to maximum password age. And this is gonna depend on your company. I see a lot of people require 30 days, some require 60 day. I'm gonna set mine to 60 days. And we will hit okay. Now, minimum password age, I'm gonna set this to zero because I like my users to be able to reset their password immediately if they want to. Say for example, they created a password and they typed in a word wrong and they're thinking, oh, I'll never be able to remember that. Let me create a new one. You don't want them to not be able to create a new one. In my opinion, that's just not functional. It's not easy and not reasonable. So now we're gonna open minimum password length and I'm going to make this 14 characters. Some people may complain about this, but it is a lot more secure than just using seven. So I'm gonna set mine to 14 and click okay. Now password must meet complexity requirements. This has to be set to enabled. We'll click okay and storing passwords using reversible encryption. This should always be disabled. It's almost the same as storing your passwords in clear text. It's just not a good idea. That's a huge vulnerability. So make sure you set this setting to disabled. Now let's go under account lockout policy in the bottom left. So if a user comes to their domain computer and they type in a bad password three times, it could be someone trying to guess the user's password. It might not be the actual authorized user. So what we wanna do is lock the user account after a certain number of invalid login attempts. So account lockout duration is how long the user will be locked out. And I'm gonna set mine to 15 minutes. You can do 30 if you would like, whatever you want. When I click apply here, it says that we have to specify account lockout threshold and reset lockout counter after you know a certain amount of time. So these are just the other two settings inside of this folder. I'm just gonna click okay and we'll click okay. Basically that message was saying you can't configure this setting without configuring these two. So account lockout threshold, I'm gonna drop this down to three failed attempts. So if a user types in a password wrong three times, the account will then be locked out. Now we're gonna go to reset lockout counter. I'm gonna leave that as 15 minutes. Again, we can open this explain tab if we're not sure what these are doing, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay. And now what we wanna do is test the lockout policy. Now, one thing for you guys to keep in mind is that we're making changes under the computer configuration. Group policy object password settings are a computer configuration. 
They're not a user configuration, which is confusing to some, but it's, it makes perfect sense. Basically, let me minimize out of this group policy object. When we set up this password policy, it applies to computer objects and the user accounts that reside on the computer objects, okay? So you can set up different password policies for different types of computers, but with a GPO, you cannot set certain types of password policies for user accounts, all right? Now, that may be confusing because I've come into scenarios where we needed to use service accounts, and those service accounts needed to have a different password policy than the regular user accounts, and same for domain administrators and so forth, and we'll get more into that later, but for this lecture, we're just gonna use the group policy object here, and we're gonna close out of this GPO, and I'm gonna minimize group policy management, minimize server manager, and what I'm gonna do now is run a GP update. So I'm gonna click start, we'll open command prompt by typing in CMD, and we'll, cl we'll click command prompt, and we're gonna run GP update forward slash force. So we're gonna update the policy on this local computer, and so I'm gonna to attempt to log in with my paul.hill user account. So I'm gonna hit the start button here. I'm going to hit my profile and I'm going to say lock. Okay, now I'm going to hit control delete and I'm gonna say switch user. And again, I will hit control delete and I'm going to select other user and I'm gonna type in my name paul.hill and I'm just gonna type in a random password here. And it says the username or password is incorrect, so I need to do this two more times. So I'm just typing in some gibberish here. Okay, one more time. And once more. Okay, so now we have the message the referenced account is currently locked out and may not be logged onto. All right, so now I'm going to switch back over to my administrator account. And I will just log in here. Okay, so now I'm back on my administrator account. If we open Active Directory, Users and Computers. Just taking a second to launch here, here we go. If I go to Domain Users, I can right click on Paul Hill and choose Properties. And under the Account tab, we can say that this account is currently locked out on this Active Directory domain controller. So I can either wait the 15 minutes or I can unlock it inside of Active Directory, which I will do now. Okay. So that is how you configure your password policies for your domain computers within group policy. Now, this is a pain to your users, but it really is for the best of everyone on the network because if a hacker compromises your network, it's gonna negatively affect you, it's gonna negatively affect your users and your company. So it's just for the best of everyone's interest if you set up a secure password policy. All right, so this has been Instructor Paul. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.